consequences of obesity cost $190 billion. That was in 2009, but what will it cost in 20 years? We're not just talking money. Doctors say it's a big, fat problem. People in one rural county may have an easier time getting to the big city. And what's the latest on merging the offices of state comptroller and state treasurer? I'll have the details. First News at 5 starts now. It is a massive problem. New research out of Duke University shows 42% of Americans will be obese by the year 2030. Good evening, I'm Jerry Lambert. And I'm Marianne Manko. ABC News Channel 20's Kimberly Howard joins us live from the studio to break down the numbers. Kimberly? Jerry and Marianne, there's bad news and good news, sort of. The good news, researchers say the once swelling obesity rate is slowing. Right now, just over a third of U.S. adults are obese. But doctors say that's nothing to jump up and down about. Research shows over time, obesity is still gaining on us, with the already obese getting even fatter, not to mention the weight of our children. I think as adults, we all have a responsibility for what happens with our children. It's a vicious cycle. Doctors say you don't need a PhD to sink your teeth into. It's not just a health issue. It's an issue of academics for our children. It's a life expectancy issue. It's a financial, it's a fiscal issue for this country. And researchers say it's not wasting away. In fact, new numbers out this week predict that by 2030, 42% of Americans will be obese. Obesity is not a value judgment. It's not based on the way someone looks. What it is is it's a body mass index of greater than or equal to 30. And if your BMI hits the big 3-0, doctors say you're at risk for a slew of medical problems. Problems. The most concerning of which are diabetes, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, cancer, stroke, etc. Doctors say the same goes for kids, although BMI in children is measured differently. But the tricks on how to stop your waistline from growing are the same. Doctors say not only do Americans eat too much, they're not eating enough real food. We're eating a lot of very heavily processed, heavily refined foods. Um, we call them food-like substances. They're really not foods, they're chemicals. And while some say staying in shape is hard for people with slow metabolisms, having a busy schedule and not enough money aren't excuses to pack on the pounds. Doctors say it's cheaper to buy fresh foods from the supermarket than to head to a drive through and many healthy meals can be prepared in minutes. So beating genetics and the clock without beating the bank is your choice. You can either slim down or get fat. Simple as that. And the new study says if nothing changes, 32 million more people could be obese by 2030, adding $550 billion to health care spending over the next 20 years. Jerry? That is a lot of money. Kimberly, thank you for that perspective. And a new report says schools should take the lead in the nation's battle against obesity. The Institute of Medicine recommends schools require at least 60 minutes of physical activity daily and to serving more nutritious food. Now, this is because children spend up to half their waking hours at school where they consume many of their daily calories. 